it would be cheaper to use N-words than cats because they are everywhere and cheap experimental animals. Sounds absurd, definitely. But what's more absurd is the fact that these were the words of an M.D. neurosurgeon, Harry Bailey, in his 1960 speech at Tulane Medical School. This was just an example because there have been several incidents in the past insinuating towards the realities of horrendous medical experimentations conducted on humans and animals. And today we will be uncovering one of the darkest chapters in medical history, the horrors of Holmesburg Prison. Within the heart of Philadelphia lies the remnants of Holmberg Prison, also known by its eerie nickname, the Terror Dome. From 1951 to 1974, this place became the backdrop for a series of chilling human experiments shrouded in secrecy and silence, ranging from mind-altering drugs, cosmetics, viruses, to chemical warfare. But before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. Infamous Past of Holmesburg Prison Holmesburg Prison known to many as the Terror Dome, was not any typical correctional facility. Established in 1896 to alleviate overcrowding from Philadelphia's Moya Menzing prison, it became the backdrop for some of the most chilling stories of the 20th century. Hidden City reports that by the 1920s, Holmesburg prison was infamously brutal. Inmates faced long hours in solitary confinement, with just 20 minutes allotted for exercise daily. The Evening Public Ledger in 1922 labeled it the worst prison in the United States. In 1938, a tragic event at Holmesburg made national news. Four inmates died in a small, concrete punishment cell known as the Klondike. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, on August 20, 1938, 23 inmates were confined in the Klondike as a punitive measure for participating in a mass hunger strike. Inside, Temperatures soared to nearly 200 degrees, leading to unconsciousness among many, and by the following Monday, four had succumbed to the extreme conditions, a story so horrifying it shocked even the governor. Darkest Era Kleigman's Reign The real horror story, however, began with Dr. Albert Kligman, a figure whose name would become synonymous with medical infamy. In 1951, Dr. Albert Kligman, a dermatologist at the University of Pennsylvania Medical School, was asked by the staff at Holmesburg Prison to check out a case of athlete's foot there. Once he got to the prison, Kligman became interested in more than just the athlete's foot. He told a reporter in Philadelphia, All I saw before me were acres of skin. It was like a farmer seeing a field for the first time. Under the guise of dermatological research, Kligman, funded by giants like Johnson & Johnson and Dow Chemicals, turned Holmesburg into a human laboratory. It is said that his experiments were not only unethical, but marked by a shocking absence of informed consent, a fundamental breach of human rights. Types of Experiments At Holmesburg Prison, a wide range of tests were tried on the prisoners. It all started with skin studies, which was Dr. Kligman's specialty, but unfortunately didn't stop there. Several tests for commercial pharmaceutical products and biochemical substances were brought into the picture. For one study, a humongous amount of fungus was administered to prisoners' feet to observe ringworms, after which they were made to wear boots for a whole week. They were also exposed to viruses like herpes and wart, all sorts of yeasts and even UV rays. Chemical tests included poisons like dioxin from the infamous Agent Orange. It is estimated that over 254 different compounds for chemical warfare were tested at Holmesburg Prison. Even the U.S. Army sought Kligman to check out mind-altering drugs, which resulted in temporary paralysis, long-term violent behaviors, and prolonged hallucinations amongst the subjects deprived of even consent forms. Monetary compensation played a key role in attracting prisoners for the tests. However, the prisoners reported the experiments as extremely painful and with horrible manifestations. One of the inmates, Edward Anthony, said that he signed up for a study and ended up developing blisters 
Then, fine little red bumps all over my face, arms, legs, head, with some of them white and filled with pus. With emerging tensions amidst the Cold War, Klingman went beyond all bounds and started testing radioactive isotopes on the Holmesburg prisoners. Complicit silence of institutions. Not just Dow Chemical and Johnson & Johnson, but many other companies, including big names like Pfizer, Merck, Hoffman LaRouche, and Klein and & French used Holmesburg prison inmates for their experiments. Even R.J. Reynolds Tobacco and the U.S. Army were involved, with the Army conducting skin tests related to defense. From 1962 to 1966, over 33 pharmaceutical companies tested more than 150 drugs on the prisoners. Moreover, roles played by the University of Pennsylvania and the governmental bodies in perpetuating the cycle of abuse can never be ignored. Their silent complicity raises questions about the moral responsibilities of institutions. Discrimination Behind Bars the demographic targeted by these experiments adds another layer of horror to Kligman's work. A significant number of those subjected to testing were African-American men, further highlighting the deep-seated racial inequalities present in the justice and medical systems. In the 1950s, when experiments began at Holmesburg Prison, black inmates were initially kept in only two sections out of ten. As time went on, they were packed three to a cell and started to fill half the prison. By 1974, when the experiments were said to have stopped, black inmates made up almost 85% of all the people in Holmesburg prison. Learnings and Seeking Redemptions The terrible history of Holmesburg has caused big changes in medical and prison rules, but the scars of the victims and their families remain. Tales of people like Leodus Jones, who was hurt for life by these experiments, and the late apologies from the groups involved, remind us of this sad part of Philadelphia's past. While Holmesburg Prison has since been shut down, its legacy endures as a grave warning of the depths to which humanity can sink in the name of science and discipline. The apologies from the University of Pennsylvania and the City of Philadelphia, while necessary, cannot undo the suffering endured by countless inmates. As we think back on this terrible part of history, we must not forget those who suffered and make sure nothing like this happens again. It's a part of history that depicts how important it is to treat everyone, even prisoners, the right way. Do you also know about any gruesome episodes of human experimentation? Please share with us in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get insights on issues that matter.